Let's talk about reading files line by line in Python. When you call the read method on a file object, Python will read the entire file into memory all at once. That could be a bad idea if you're working with a really big file. There's another common way to process files in Python. You can loop over a file object to read it line by line. Here we're printing out a number counting upward and each line in our file. Now, notice that as we print, Python isn't just printing out the line, but an extra blank line in between each line. The reason is the print function prints a new line character after whatever else that it prints. But each of our lines ends in a new line character because that's what separates lines in a file, new line characters. So we either need to suppress the new line character that print prints out or remove the new line characters from each line in our file as we print them out. File objects in Python are lazy iterables, which means we can treat them the same way we treat pretty much any other iterable. So instead of manually counting upward, we could pass our file object to the built-in enumerate function so that enumerate could do the counting for us as we loop. Files are lazy iterables, and as we loop over a file object, we'll get lines in that file. When Python reads a file line by line, it doesn't store the whole file in memory all at once. Instead, it stores a small buffer of upcoming lines in that file. So it's more memory efficient, meaning looping over files line by line is especially important if you're working with really big files. 